Hello, everyone. Um, <clears throat> I am at Goodwill. Uh, this is one of the outlet stores. And we're going to go have a look around and see what we can find. There's so much junk in here, it's almost hard to believe. Um, the first thing I wanted to show you guys was this, <laughs> this chair. You can see it's a... Uh, it's a hideous chair with oak and brass uh, accents. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that just wonderful? And uh, looks like Ken had a really rough night. He's like, dude, where's my car? Oh my God, he is really a mess. All right, let's keep moving along here and see what we can find. See what items are available here in this, in this Goodwill. I like this sort of long necked lady. You can see she's very um, statuesque. That is really scary, actually, looking at that. It almost looks like a giant tongue. Like this, if you do it this way. It's like a giant tongue. All right, you see these everywhere, these little things. I think they're from India. I believe they're Indian. You see them all over the place. Okay, let's see. Hill Phoenix Excellence. Drinky, drinky. Oh, wait a minute. Someone gave me money. Cinema Enthusiast 93, thank you very much. I really do appreciate your contribution. I won't be buying the Hill Phoenix coffee mug with that donation. I'm going to save it for another dirty room which we start filming again in just about a week. This is a really nice, this is an old bowl. It's an old mixing bowl. Oh, the next ADR comes out on Friday, folks. Just so you know. This is an old mixing bowl. Probably from the 40s. You can see the little stilt marks on the bottom. That's where they put the uh, the pot on top of that and then they glaze it and then they fire it. And that's why there's no glaze where the little stilt marks are. See, so you learn something new every day. Yes, indeed, thank you. All right, let's go, oh my God, it's Rick as a baby. Look at this horrifying. Oh my God. Hi, Retail Archaeology is here. Hello. Marcel from Germany. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I really do. More money for the uh, Dirty Room series. All right, let's keep looking. This music is going to ruin this video because there is no way that they are gonna let this fly. Although I do like the music. Okay, let's see. Oh my God, look at this. I've never seen so many Frisbees in my entire life. Iconic hat from your nervous friend in Virginia. Oh, thank you so much, honey. I appreciate that. Look at this. These are there's got to be 200 Frisbees here. My God. I've never seen this many Frisbees at one time. I just throw one. There, I'm totally going to get yelled at that. Let me see. I'm just going to throw one real quick. 
You could really just get this thing to fly all the way across the store. Now, this store, I think, charges by weight. So, I believe that's how they do it. So, you, you go in here and you look for stuff. And then you can uh, pay for it by weight. The USS Ontario. It is like a garbage dump. Uh, dump Jeff it was absolutely true. It's a giant garbage dump. You just pick through and find what you. Oh, look at this clown! That is so bad. <laughs> I think it does something. What's inside of it? There's stuff inside of it. But it's all sewn together. You know, it's like old cubes of cocaine that they smuggled through the airport in this clown. They're like, oh, this is for my uh, cousin. Okay, that's... <laughs> That's just unbelievable. Here's another. This is. Uh, is that the Disney character? Uh, what's her name? I can't remember her name. She really should get dressed. Yeah, Mulan. That's right. This is Mulan uh, 2018. She's doing. Uh, porn movies in a dirty rummage uh, uh, rummage sale. Are these wait a minute, are these oh no, these are literally wheel covers. Look at that. Wow. Alright, moving on. I think we have a What in the hell is this? Oh, it's uh, one of those things that makes like the sticky tape uh, thing that you can like put words or whatever. A label maker, right. Jesus, I'm a little tired folks. I've been up all night working, but I had to take my car back into the shop. So I'm waiting for them to call me so I can figure out. Through the Dark Exploration. Thank you very much. I do appreciate your donation. Thank you. Well, let's see here. What have we have? Um, this is a pad of paper from Chicago Title. Isn't that wonderful? Look at all those unused notes. <laughs> And then it looks like American Challenge. Name the courageous African-American woman who refused it on the back of the bus. Well, that's easy. Rosa Parks. Must be part of a game. But I don't know why they... Why did they give you the answer on the same side of the question? Oh, boy. This is unbelievable. I sell on eBay. This is probably from the 90s. I sell on... By the queen of auctions, Lynn Drail. A loosely fucking your online auctions. Did anyone ever write in this thing? auction house oh my god it's so lame I used to sell stuff on eBay like back in the day I'd go to flea markets and stuff and sell it was just like a hobby of mine but um it was really a pain in the ass thing to have to do 
Okay, someone said to look at the art, so I think this is some art here. We have this painting by um, someone who should look at how they're doing things and try to uh, redo them. There's a little painting here. A still, a still life. Isn't that nice? What is this? People love the seagulls. And that just looks dreadful to me. I don't know what that is. All right, we're looking through. That's pretty, but it's uh, it's just a thing. Oh, God. oh, thanks, JJ Yardley. I appreciate that. Let's see here. Oh, does anybody want a depressing scene of a mountain with some pine trees? <laughs> oh no, I'm glitching out. That's not good. Wait a minute. What's this stuff here? Oh. This pine thing just ripped my leg open. This. Okay, everything here is awful. This is all bad. So we're gonna move on. Oh God, okay, let's. It's like each bin, there's little treasures just everywhere. I've never seen, look at all the bins in here. I could be on here for an hour. Let me see. Oh, it's a Foreman grill. Look at those hamburgers. They look like plastic. Oh, I wish there was a Bob Ross painting over there. I would sell the shit out of that thing. Oh no. Honey got lit up. Jesus. I mean, she is a wreck. She's like, hello? Oh no, I'm going back to bed. Wake up. Uh, I'm going back to bed. She got lit up last night. My goodness. <laughs> Continuing on. That chair there is so funny. It's like so 80s. Doesn't look very used. There's some nice... Well, there's not a pair. It's just one boot. Look at that. There's a Christmas tree. And what is this? Happy anniversary, pastor. 2011. Oh, this, she must be a pastor in town somewhere. She looks like a happy lady. I like her 70s look. Huh, look at that. You wonder how stuff like that ends up at a thrift store. Like, how does that end up at a thrift store? Who thinks to take that to a thrift store? What are you gonna do with it? Actually, you know what it is? It's a placemat, I think. They probably set it down on a table and you can eat, you know. Yeah, it has to be. Anyway. Oh my God, this is too much. This is like, there's an angel running after two children. Let's see what we got here. This song is really bad. I don't know if you guys have, uh, are hearing this, but um, it's making my fucking ears start bleeding because it is literally that bad. This is an old battery charger. It 
how much would you? I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna ask, Peter. I don't know. I'm sure it would be very expensive. <laughs> and really, with with no return of capital, rest assured. Okay, this here, I don't know what. It's a wig. Oh, it's like a scare wig. Oh, see, it's got little devil horns on it. Hmm. Vacuum cleaners. Oh, see, this is all kids' clothes over here. Everyone's buying their kids' clothes. Everyone's sticking through the kids' clothes. This is a scary flashlight. It's like a red flashlight. So odd. And what is this? An air compressor. Is this interesting for everyone? I guess it is. This seems like such an odd thing to do right now, but it's making me happy. It is making me happy. God. I'd love to fire this screen up and just see how bad it is. Oh, see, now I love this, these. These are like those Navajo sand paintings that I really, really tourist stuff, but sometimes the artist will sign it, but this one's not signed. But I don't know how they do that. I guess it's glue and sand. But I have some that are really old. I've always liked this. Oh, it's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. This poor Rudolph. I'm going to set him up so he can look. Somebody is going to buy that. Look. It's adorable. He's waiting to go home for Christmas. Does he still light up? I don't know. I don't know how you... You probably have to squeeze his face or something for him to light up. I'm sure if you found the battery compartment... You could probably make that happen. Okay, there's a fly that keeps landing on my leg, and it's, I keep thinking, oh God, it's a bed bug. So, oh my gosh, look at all this. Guys, I'm overwhelmed right now. I'm overwhelmed at this moment in time. There's an aquarium. poster that's in good shape I should put this back on there so it doesn't get messed up somebody will want that somewhere let's see oh my oh here's uh what is this game called again I forgot um you guys will know what that is I forgot what the name of the game is I used to love it I used to play it all the time trouble that's right Trouble, fun game, trouble. Oh, there's Clue, Master Detective, which I always love the game, the board game Clue. Always a lot of fun. Hmm. These little, probably not working that well. Oh my God, I don't know how people look through all this stuff. I really don't, it's, it's exhausting. Cause it's like, you have to, I guess you really have to be in the right mindset to spend like, um, you know, however long it, you would be in here for digging through each bin. And they got books over here too. A lot of books. How to Run a tr Traditional Jewish Household by Blue Greenberg. A Few Minutes with Andy Rooney.
the most random books. Jeez, man. The Millionaire Next Door. The Surprising Secrets of America's Wealthy. And it sold two million copies. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Oh, which National Geographic is this? Oh, February 2013. I love the ones from the 80s. Oh, records. Johnny Lee, hey bartender. Is it, is it a gay bar? Anyway, God, somebody loved Johnny Lee. Here he is again with his, uh, love you too, GS, with his full tuft of chest hair and thick beard. Includes Say When, The Yellow Rose, One More Shot, The Fool. Oh, of course, the Mormon Tabernacle used to be really big. Oh, there's the, um, the temple in Salt Lake. I went there. Not for the tour. There's like a little museum next to it. It's pretty interesting. See, I just, I, I still have a lot of records like this and I, Johnny Lee power bottom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you do, you guys are just <laughs> too fucking much. <laughs> uh, Nirvana Design, thank you. Check the CD aisle for some Mars Volta. Actually, I'm just going to look in the garbage. <laughs> oh, that's so cool, Super Toaster. Thank you for a $6.66 donation. I love that. Without a love. Let me see here. Um, oh, but like I was saying, see, I love... Oh, this, see, this is good country right here. I love old country music. I don't like new country. But, like, record albums like this is stuff my grandfather would have had. I love this kind of stuff. Justin Tubb. These are real good old country music uh, albums. And then... Well, this one's good, too. You got Jimmy Dean, Patsy Cline, Carl Ballou. These are good. There's a lot of good albums here, actually. This must be a new, uh, must be a new, uh, thing. Because I know, I know a lot of people come in here and pick through the albums. Somebody loved Tom Jones. But, but, you know, like I was saying, though, with, like, this, uh, like, albums like this, like, I have a lot of albums like this. They're great for cocktail parties. Like, if you're going to have a cocktail party, you can buy these albums. They're, like, 10 cents or 20 cents, however much they charge for albums in here. And you get an old record player. You can buy a new record player, too, and put these on and have a cocktail party. It's so great. So much fun because your guests can look at the records they're listening to while having cocktails. That's just my little piece of uh, advice for those who want to make their cocktail party smashing. Get a Jane Morgan album. <laughs> Let's look through some more of these. That old time religion. Christ almighty. I mean, there are like, how much of these albums can you listen to? There's like, there must be, there's like, oh my God, it's just too, too much religion. Way too much. Oh, uh, Crystal Gale, this is a good album. Get fucked. 
get fucked. Thank you so much. That was so sweet. Where are the CDs, CD nuts? We're going to go look at some CDs. Rebecca M., thank you. Oh, my God. I appreciate that. Okay, we're going to go look at CDs for Get Fucked. Let's see if we can find the CDs. I don't know if they have. They have to have CDs, right? Oh, this is too good. Oh. <gasps> this is one of my favorite movies of all time. If you guys have not seen this movie, you have got to watch it. It is literally the best. Cinema Enthusiast 93, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Look at that. God, this is like such a good movie. I want to see it again. Oh my God. You know how many times I've seen this fucking movie? I've probably seen this movie like, I mean, at least 50 times, if not more. One of my favorites. I love when the waiter from the Club 21 brings their dinner over. That's like my favorite part. She has like, they have like lobster tail and he brings it over in a, in a hot box. Okay, let's continue looking for, oh my God, there's so many. Oh, this is another good movie. Predator, and this is like the, the special iridescent um, VHS box. Oh my God, look at these movies. Another fucking classic, amazing movie. Predator is, um, they should remake it today with everything that's going on. There's a lot of predators out there. The Greatest Adventure Stories from the Bible. Well, wow. You know, I don't see any CDs. Oh, wait, here's... D oh, wait, I see CDs. Okay, we're going to go see CDs. All right, CDs... These don't look good. I'm just giving you guys sort of a... I Spy Treasure Hunt. Brain building games for kids. Well, that sounds boring. What? Ito's Hint Line. One nine hundred seven seven three four three six seven. Cost of calls ninety nine cents a minute. What the hell is this? Tomb. Oh, it's Tomb Raider. With a nine hundred number. Mercury Living Presence. An original thirty five millimeter. Magnetic film recording. Oh, is this? Wait a minute. This has got to be a DVD. Well, there's nothing in there, so we'll never know. Slim Thug. Already platinum. Is this local? Hmm, I don't know. You know, there's like always those guys handing out their CDs on the street. And I'm just like, dude, put it on YouTube. Like, why are you wasting money with CDs? Propagandi. F 
five brown snow boundaries. This has got to be Christian rock. It's got to be. Well, maybe not. They look like a very close-knit inbred family. There's been some inbreeding here. Definitely some inbreeding. I would like to see these, these people and, um, and Slim Thug collaborate. Um, if this happened, it would be really, I think, like something that would be really special. Like the inbred kids and Slim Thug. I know. I remember Slim Thug. I don't remember the music, but I remember, like, stuff about him. But he never really, uh... He never really... I mean... He's just one of those guys. You just didn't hear about him anymore. The Drum Hour Part 7, If You Scared Good a Dog. Hmm. Huh. Oh... Engelbert Humperdick. Look at those big white teeth. Radio reruns. Whoa, what is that? Survivor Vital Signs. You guys remember cassette singles? Like, you could buy a cassette single. This is like one of those. It would come in the paper, like in the cardboard. Oh, wait, wait. someone, come on, who's this? Rosie B, thank you so much. This is how much I spent last time I was at Goodwill Outlet. See, $5.12. It's cheap. Goodwill is cheap. You guys, you could get ready for Valentine's Day. You could get ready for Christmas. You could get any holiday. It's all in these bins. All right, let's, uh, I'm just surprised about these, uh, some of these, uh, wait a minute, how many times did they remake Annie? So there's three Annies? There's four Annies? Wait a minute. There's the there's the early '80s with Carol Burnett, and then the remake with. Uh, but then this is Kathy Bates. But there's another one too. Gideon's trumpet. I've never seen that one. You still watch VHS tapes? Yeah, I copy them. You copy them and put them like on. Oh, that's a good idea. I got all the equipment. <laughs> See, now this I would buy. I, I, I didn't, I didn't get you. <laughs> You've seen that, sir, haven't you? Yeah, I got it. You got it. My man. My man. I got the remake too. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like, I like the, the original. They show you how they make it and everything. Yeah. I always thought when I was a kid, I was like, you know, this, because, like, I always thought it was a real place, but it's all a set. Right. Mm -hmm. And Al Hitchcock is a, uh, he makes cameras. So yeah, he walks movies. by the, he walks by the alley. Shop, right. Yeah, by, he's outside the pet shop. Yeah, he's outside the pet shop, right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Cameo part. Yeah, I love those. The bones. Anyway, have a good day, man. Okay, you too, buddy. See, that's what I like about Baltimore. People just friendly 
and you can just say hi and talk shoot the breeze look at this okay this is officially like the scariest thing i have ever seen in my life look at that oh my god it's like it's hard paper mache this is so bad i might have to buy it oh my god This is the most heinous thing I've ever seen. It smells like mold, number one. This <laughs> is a deadly clown. It's literally been in a moldy house. <laughs> oh my God. All right, I'll have to, I'm gonna get the clown, I think. It smells so bad. It smells like mold. I have to clean it. Holy crap. I love it that it's all dirty and nasty looking. Oh, look. Something Mex... It was made in Mexico. Isn't that interesting? All right, so I'm taking the clown. The Mexican clown is coming with me. Potato van, I don't know if I'll see any needles, but that would be a good lawsuit, I think, if I got pricked by a needle. What is that? I don't know if I can buy this. I'm gonna, it's really like, it's so awful. I don't know if I can deal with it. It smells really bad. Just very, very, um. <laughs> okay. That takes care of that problem. <laughs> All right, continuing on. Let's see here. God. I wonder how much money George Foreman made off these grills. He must have made a fortune. Because you see them everywhere now. <laughs> I caught her cat. Thank you. All right. Let's check out some... Oh, wait a minute. There's an enamel. Huh. No maker name, but it's a sort of inlaid enamel. It's interesting. Thank you, Mike G. I appreciate that. A lot of six dollar and sixty six cents. You're all trying to uh, curse me. <laughs> all right, let's see here. Oh my gosh. See, it says Dan Bell. Can you believe it? No, this is literally like you put this at the couch and it, you put your feet in it. Let's continue on. Let's try a new bin. I, we haven't looked at this one yet. What is this? 
This is the most tattered bag on planet Earth, and it's inside out. Oh man, that thing has seen some. That thing has seen some better days. Drink the milk. I wish there really was. Oh, this is a. Well, that's nice. It's a pottery barn shelf. It's okay. It's not the greatest. I'd paint it. Oh no. No. What is this? Toilet golf? Oh, come on. A pot and puff, pot and pot and toilet golf. A whimsical golf potty putting game for any bathroom. Holy shit. What is wrong with people? I mean, seriously. What asshole would buy this garbage? Like I'm thinking, oh, it's a joke, but it's not a joke. And can you imagine how dirty this rug gets? Oh, it's, oh, it's just horrible. Ugh. All right, moving on. We're gonna do one more bin and then I'm gonna get off of this thing. But it's not gonna be this bin because there's nothing in there. So let's do this bin. Some clothing. Little, little kind of a cute little Taiwan, little pitcher. This is, uh, oh, this is uh, a slide sorter for slides, like if you were to, when people had slides, you could sort your slides on this. Probably put a light under it and then the light melted, this touched the light and it melted uh, through. Hmm. Okay, there's a kitty box. Anybody? Anybody? Kitty box? Foot bath with some. There's some. Uh, there's a tray. I smell a very strong smell of bleach, which means there's probably bleach dripping in here somewhere. What is this? Oh, it's another slide sorter. Oh, see, this is what, okay. So that makes sense. So you put this together and then that plastic thing goes on top of it. And then it would have had a flat a bulb here so you could see your slides. Now we just take pictures with phones so you don't need to make this stuff anymore. Isn't that amazing? Fox hunting scenes. Now see, just to give you an idea of the age of this slide sorter, Okay, holds 40 slides, all metal. This has gotta be from the, I would say late 60s, maybe, mid 60s. That's awesome. I love finding stuff like that. Roger Williams. 
for when grandma's going into her eternal rest at the hospice. This is what you would put on to comfort her as she glides into the nether world. Okay. That is not 1930s. There's no way. That is not 1930s. The, the fonts are all wrong for 1930s. We didn't have, I don't think we had slides in the 1930s. Check the purse for money. I'm pretty sure people already do that, but I will, I will humor you. There is nothing inside. And the purse smells like uh, mothballs. You know, if I found cash in a purse in this store, I would probably donate it to Goodwill because Goodwill actually does good work. They train people to uh, they give people who have a hard time getting job jobs. So I would probably take the money and give it to uh, Goodwill. Redistribute. Because uh, Goodwill actually does really good work. I mean, a lot of people who are intellectually disabled work here. Um, gives a lot of people a lot of jobs. So it's a good company. So I like supporting Goodwill. Goodwill is good. Oh, look at this York's tape player. Now, see, I could take that, buy some of the tapes, and then I'd be all good. Anyway, you guys, I really have to go. But I hope you had a fun time on my adventure through uh, Goodwill. We've been going for 45 minutes, nearly an hour. I love you all very much. And uh, Dirty Room comes out this Friday. And then there's going to be a lot of filmic videos coming up because um, I'm going to be shooting little things while I'm in Florida shooting Dirty Room. So stay tuned. Follow me on Instagram at This Is Dan Bell and Twitter at This Is Dan Bell if you feel so inclined. Um, love you guys. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And uh, we will talk soon. Bye-bye.